Hi, I'm going to show you how to use sliders on the TI Inspire calculator so that you can go ahead and graph something like this with the C value and move it around a little bit. And then also you could graph something like this, which is a generic cubic equation with a constant out front of A, a scalar change, and then a kind of a center of the vertex at HK. When you do it on the calculator, you have to put this times in there, though. If you don't put the times in there, it will not work. So I have this typed in here with the value C. And what we want to be able to do then is put a slider in to change that value of C. So I type this in. And now what you can do is go to Menu and then go to Actions. And then you can go down to Insert Slider. And then there's my slider. And then I can move it all over the place. And I can do multiple sliders. They'll just come on one on top of each other. But then I can just click and put that down. And then the value that I want to change is the C. And if I want to change this some more, I can do the settings here. And so C, we want to do the value. doesn't matter right now, but it will just be the value that starts off. Maybe I want to go from negative 5 up to 5. And you can size this and do different things. And then we want the horizontal, but here is the slider. Now you can do one of two things. You can grab this and move this back and forth. Or you can go left arrow, right arrow, etc. So then there's my function, graphed. And all I have to do is slide this, and then it will move my graph up and down. So you can talk about the nature of the roots whatever you want to do with this. And so it's kind of fun to play with. You also can use your arrow key going left and right. And that's how we can satisfy that. OK, so that's the first example. Now we want to do a generic one with multiple sliders. So here's my next function, which is the generic cubic that we were talking about. And what we want to do with this is get three sliders. So we'll go to Menu and do Actions, and then all the way down to Insert Slider. And there it is. And I'll put in three of these. So if you want to change the scale on these, I was doing a right click, but I can't do that on the calculator. So you go Control Menu. And then you can go to the Settings. And then here's where you can change all the information that you need to change with the calculator itself. And then I'll change that last one here, too. So now you have a graph of a cubic, and you can go ahead and grab this and slide it how you want, back and forth. And you can see how it flips over when you go over 0. 0 is a trivial case. And then we go back and forth. And then if we want to move the vertex, let's get on a different value here. We can move the vertex. We can move things to the right by h units or to the left h units. And then the k, we can move up and down to. And so that's a nice way to show how we can transform equations or cubics, whatever we're dealing with. And the last piece here is that you can take one of these. You can go Control Menu, and you can animate. So if I want to animate the K, I click on the K, and then I do Animate. And it will run through my values that I have on there for my K values. And I wonder if I can do this multiple times at the same, or multiple things at the same time. I can try to animate this. And so then that one's animating at the same time. That gets going to get a little crazy. Woohoo! And then I can do this one too. Animate all three at the same time. I don't know what that does for you, but it makes it kind of fun. All right, so that's how you use sliders. And you can play around with that and do a lot of fun things. Thanks.